aka CGD and welcome to another Fernbus Simulator uh, video on the Xbox Series S. Today I'm doing a little short run from Marseille to Nice Airport. These good people have enjoyed a lovely weekend in Marseille in the snow as you can see and we're doing a little shuttle run in this bad boy. Now it wasn't because it was a good friend of mine in my Discord um, that revealed that we could uh, unlock this bus. I didn't know it existed. But if you go, when you're setting up a, uh, a run or a route, if you go into the shuttle, uh, this bus becomes uh, available for you to uh, to drive. And it's a lot of fun. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look inside it. Open the doors as such. Now actually, before, I've not even checked. Is there a luggage compartment? But uh, let's see if we have to turn on the electrics first. It's a little bit funny getting <laughs> inside it. But uh, let's have a look. Let's put the electrics on. And get back out. Sometimes that's how it works on the normal buses. Can we open any luggage compartment up? So it looks like these guys are going to have to bring the luggage on with them. Any overhead? No. I'm going to have to keep the luggage on the knees then. So anyway, we'll get in our seat and we'll just have a quick look at what's available. So obviously we've got the uh, signage there. Uh, what else do we have? We have navigation on or off there. So we'll uh, we'll t keep that one off actually. And the overhead lighting then and all the usual gubbins there. Obviously not as much as you would normally get on your normal bus. Yeah, so let's go book these people in take them to the airport. We don't want them to be uh, missing their plane. So we'll check them all in with express, express check-in as normal. There you go, my dear. Oh, you were trying to jib a ride then, weren't you, pretty face? Right, hello, madam. Would you like to go to the airport? Yes. You, my dear. Let's check you in as well. Good in, sir. Nice jacket. You're nice and warm there. Got your gloves on a seat. It's your wife. I won't try and chat you up then. In your pot. So, a few more to go. Everyone's all wrapped up warm because of the, the adverse weather conditions down here in Marseille. Check you in as well. And you as well, sir. So, that's everybody apart from you, my dear. I'm sorry, maybe I'll have to uh, try another bus. Right, we'll get on. Everybody's on. For some reason, they've all sat on the same side. But anyway, we'll leave them to it. So let's shut the doors. There. We can't see them closing, but we can see them there in the mirror that they are closing. And we will start up our little uh, van here. We'll put some lights on. You never know, do you? Better put the wipers on as well. How fast are we going to need them on, do you think? Is it snow? Does it snow in these trucks? Yes, it's snowing in the bus as well, which is always great. <laughs> right, anyway, job in hand. So do we need to start the job or not? That is the question. Is there a way for us to start the job? Or do we just go with it being a shuttle and run? I suppose there is no time or... Departure, 10.02, it's 9.958. So we'll just get going, I think. We'll just get going. And break off. What have I not done here? What's what's Lee not done? And break on. Got it in reverse. You know why? I've I've got a different controller. I've uh, I have uh, an elite controller and I've mapped my uh, paddles for another button. So the, that's why I got a bit confused there. Right, off we go. Well, that's cool. I've never noticed that before. A window opens up to show you what gear you're in as well. So away we go. And this little bad boy as we travel to Nice. It's only 232 kilometres away. So it's not going to be a very long trip. I just thought I'd uh, showcase this little beast on the channel. It's fun, it's different. I wonder how the conditions change now with it snowing. I wonder if we have to take uh, into account that with our braking interesting to see but we'll soon find out 
Let's see if we can hear that indicator. Do, have we got any uh, air conditioning settings? Can we put the heating on? No. Cannot. So there'll be no complaints then, I suppose. Right, come on. Let's get a shifty on, otherwise we're going to have to squeeze up the side of you. This is only supposed to be a short video. Come on, fella. Stick your nose out. Be brave. Be brave. Stick your nose out. They'll have to stop. The firm bus AI's not fantastic, but it's not stupid. Otherwise, I'm going to squeeze up the side of this Audi here. So I hope you're all uh, doing well. And uh, you're enjoying the game. Yes, there are uh, a few bugs out there, a few issues. But if you do follow um, Simnext, which is Fabian, who is the communications manager at uh, Aerosoft, um, if you follow his um, Discord page and his uh, YouTube channel, you'll know that there is a patch coming uh, within the next week or so. which should resolve a lot of the issues. I don't really like doing this, but this fella's not making any moves at all, is he? I don't recommend for everybody to do this. We are going to get done for some light accident damage, but I ain't got the time or the patience to sit there all day. We're going to have to make a move. These people need to get to the airport. They need to be there for 12.45. So yeah, as I was saying, there are patches coming. Um, if um, you are wondering, uh, he did make a video the other day, so if you head over to his channel, Sim Next, uh, you can see that video there. I also recorded a short video, uh, which is on the channel, going over some of the more important bugs and glitches that are going to be fixed and included in the patch, which are coming in the next 10 days, so go over and uh, check out that video. I'll, if I remember, I will pop a link to that uh, on the top of the screen now. So it looks like we've gone out of some traffic into even more traffic now, which is not great. So we're stuck here in Marseille at the moment. Chaos. I don't know what the hold-up is. The snow is very relentless as well. This adds to all to the realism. I'm just going to go and have a look and see what the crack is. I'm just... See if we can open the doors in. Let's go and have a look. See what's going on. Let's see what's occurring. Oh, hey, up. Oh, we're moving. Can I open the doors then? No. That's good. There we go. This is the first time I've ever driven uh, in snow as well. It doesn't seem that the physics changed so much there. I just braked hard. I didn't seem to skid or slide. So maybe that's something that will be added. Let me know in the uh, comments down below. Is this? Have you driven this vehicle yet? Did you find it fun? How far did you drive it? Where did you drive it from? Where did you drive it to? Tell me all the good stuff in the comments down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the like button. It would be very much appreciated. It helps get my content out there to even more people who enjoy firm bus or simulation games as a whole. We've got even more great simulation content coming up in the future, uh, including uh, On the Road, which I cover quite heavily here on the channel, which is another game from Aerosoft uh, what they, that they publish. I uh, try to get a live stream out of that over on my Twitch channel, which you'll find the, dis uh, the link to in the description down below once again. I do my live streams over on Twitch, that's where I like to do them. So if you haven't already, go over there and give that a little follow button a tickle. So we're nine minutes in here, and we've not even left... Well, we've left the car park, but we've not left the road that the car park's on. So we'll just let these guys go over here, obviously. Let them go through the traffic lights there. Fingers crossed we can start making a dent into this 229 kilometres as soon as possible. Going left, we best put our indicator on. It makes that tell you what that is a whisper quiet that indicator, isn't it, compared to the ones on the large coaches? It's really quiet. You can 
just about tell that it's on. Right, here we go, gang. We are off. Now, let's see how this little minibus really handles. It's going to feel strange not having to watch the, uh, the tail end. We're already speeding. We'll keep an eye on that. For the first time the other day, I actually got uh, caught speeding by a speed camera. Uh, I can't remember what town it was now, but I'd just come off uh, the toll road and entered a town and I was doing 70 kilometres an hour and the speed, uh, speed camera picked me up and flashed me. So obviously I got uh, minus XP for that. So even more traffic lights here now. But I'm loving the way the snow comes down. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? Looks really nice. Here we go. We are on our way, definitely, now. We're still in a 50, so we'll stick to that. We'll stick to the 50 limit, try not to go over that and get uh, minus XP. Very tricky with the Xbox controller to try and judge how far down you press it. So it's like we're taking a right here. Just add it. I mean, why? Why would you do that, driver? Why are you still pushing up against me? Honestly, sometimes. I mean, I, as far as I was concerned that I was in the correct lane. And he came slamming into the side of me. It looks like now we're getting onto the uh, motorway, which is great. It does say 50 kilometres an hour still, but I'm sure that will change there to 100. Now, I don't think this vehicle has cruise control. No, it doesn't. Listen to it. It's revving its little wheels off, it is. We're going 80 here. That's as fast as it goes for the looks of it. We are going uphill, though. And it's stopped snowing as well, for the looks of it as well. We can turn our wipers off. Take them off. With the snow stopping. Get these good people to the airport. Oh, we are actually going a bit faster now downhill. It's peaked. 100 kilometres an hour, this bad boy goes. Oh, she's a little beast. Handles really nicely as well. Really nicely. This is a lot of fun. I think we might have to put those wipers on intermittently again, I think. We are still getting a little bit on the windscreen there. We don't want to uh, obscure our vision too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we have a toll booth to get through. Which is always fun with the AI uh, concerned. Let's just... See if we can get a less busier toll booth. This one's looking good here. Mounted Aero in front there, rip off of the Range Rover. He's going to smash into that barrier, I suppose. He's going to go straight through. Won't let me straight through, though. Being CGD and being a good boy, I do like to use it correctly. There we go. And we're on our way again. A little shy of 200 kilometres to go. Is the AI going to be kind and let me through? It is. It is going to let me through. There we go. Right, we're on our way, definitely now. Straight run down to Nice. To Nice Airport, let's turn that indicator off. Off we go. So it will be interesting to see to see how the uh, Xbox Series S handles uh, snow graphically. What glitches we get, what rendering we get. We get. Um, it was mentioned by Fabian, Fabian, however you like to call him. Um, that they are going to be dropping the frames per second down on the uh, Xbox consoles um, to deal with the, the rendering issue of the shadows. 
etc. So, we'll see how it handles the scenery with uh, the blanketed in snow. Love hearing the birds tweet and everything. Yesterday, I, uh, I did a live stream. And when I finished that live stream, I set up a route um, from Meath Airport, actually, uh, over to the last French destination that I needed to unlock, which was Brest. B-R-E-S-T, that's spelled right over on the east coast of France. Sorry, the west coast of France. Um, and I think it was something like 1,400 kilometres driving distance and it took me last night round about three and a half hours uh, to complete the journey but it was a great journey I think we went through two tanks of fuel and it was just a, a lovely drive we had no incidences of crash the game crashing or anything like that it was a lovely journey I really enjoyed it so what I would like to do, I'm thinking of doing in the future. Um, I need to have a look at it first and uh, see how it'll work out. But possibly driving the whole map from east to west or west to east in one go. Live on stream. Maybe doing it for charity or something like that. Maybe doing west to east and then east to west back again. We'll see. But maybe doing something for charity that way. See if uh, Aerosoft or TML would like to be involved with something like that. Maybe get a group of us doing it live streaming. I don't know. I've got lots of ideas floating around, but if that's something that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, let me know what you're thinking of the game up to now. Down in the comments. Is there something that you think you can barring all the, the, the bugs and the glitches? Let me know what you'd like to see in the game. Let me know what what your wish list is, what you'd most like to see in Fernbus. So I've just noticed as well, in the corner of my eye, this little minibus does go over 100 kilometres an hour. Look, it's creeping up to 110, 115, 116, 119. Looks like, oh no, 120. It looks like it peaks at 120 kilometres. I know I'm speeding, but it's full. Mountains over there as we're going to go over the top of them in a minute. Great views though. Look at that up there, beautiful. Just, uh, best not distract ourselves too much though. Said it's the first time driving in the snowy conditions. So we don't want to be having an accident in our nice shiny new minibus. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you'd most like to see. See, for me, this is the best simulation game, driving simulation game, on consoles at the moment. I think they've done a fantastic job with the game. The sheer, um, the sheer size of the map, the detail, I think it's fantastic. And what I have learned is that this has surprised a lot of people. TML is only a 10-man studio. 10 people built this game and that you've got to take your hat off to that 10 men so when you're wondering where the fixes are for the bugs and the errors just uh, try and keep that in mind that it's 10 people doing all this work so be patient with them uh, be kind with your words and uh, I'm sure the game will be uh, Back up to scratch in no time whatsoever. So we're going to swap lanes. Oh, no, we're not, because there's someone coming up on the inside there. Now we will go, though. It's very difficult to hear that indicator. If it was to ask for one thing, maybe turn the volume up on that a bit, because as you can hear, the, um, the engine on this is quite loud. You can hear a lot of uh, road noise. 
like the animation there of the indicator going up on the left hand side that's pretty cool and as I've got my headlights on as well you can see that that's indicated on the stalk there which is great and on the wipers there on the right hand side so the level of detail inside this little cab is brilliant as well I'm liking it it's lovely to handle as well Go. Looks like we've got a bit of a bend coming up in the road. So I'm going to take my finger off the accelerator a bit and give it a little bit of break. As everybody else is slowing down as well. Round we go. So we're about halfway through the journey now. So if it weren't for that uh, bit of traffic back in Marseille, we'd be a lot further ahead now. But that's life, that's traffic, that's real life for you. Uh, never gauge how it's going to turn out. But I think this is performing really well in the snow actually. I've not seen any sort of flashing or much rendering. Any pop, not much popping. So I think it looks great in the snow. They've done a fantastic job. It's a popping here now with the road barriers there that's just loaded in. Because once you start looking for it, you do start to see it. Like I said, with them dropping the frame rate in the next patch, I know I'm speeding, I do apologise. Um, that should disappear. And uh, we should be able to get a, a great experience. And even, sorry, not a great experience, a better experience than we are getting now. Uh, I'm head over heels for this game. I really am. I can't get enough of it. I didn't think that uh, driving a coach could be so much fun. It's as much fun as uh, ferrying oil and God knows what else we ferry around on uh, on the road. I'm going to struggle a bit here. I'm speeding round the bend. I don't like it. Well, I managed to keep to keep control of the vehicle. 59 kilometres to go. Come on, CGD, don't crash it. Well done, my son. Well done. My heart was in my mouth then. We are still speeding, but we're trying to get these people to their destination on time. We've got just over an hour to get there. 53 kilometres to go. We seem happy. No one's complained yet about the speed or my the uh, erratic driving. So we're doing something right. We are doing something right. Great seeing these mountains over on the left hand side though. They're telling me I'm speeding again. I'm going to get marked down quite considerably I think. On my XP with all the speeding that I've done. behind me, sat in my little minibus, won't mind as long as they get their flight on time. But it looks like we're coming up to another toll road so we will slow it down a touch. We don't want to join the NPC vehicles in a demolition derby as they uh, tend to do. See, there you go, demolition derby. We'll pull up nice and gently. Eventually they will open, there we go. Now, I used to think there was a bit of a hitbox for them, but you just got to wait patiently. I uh, started to drive right up close to the barrier until it opened, but it's just a matter of waiting patiently for those to open. So, 31 kilometres to go now. We will be there shortly, people, at Nice Airport. So we have got a limit of 60 kilometres an hour now in this area. We will take it carefully. There could be speed cameras. To be getting uh, done for speeding in our little minibus. We need a few more of these little runs today, I think. They are a lot of fun. And I'm really enjoying as well the uh, Neoplan uh, bus. That's a lot of fun to drive to. 
it's whisper quiet, it's really nice to drive. A little on the big side, but fun. And that's what it's all about, having fun, this game. And I'm having it by the bucket falls at the moment. Hope you are too. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the game at the moment. Minus uh, the obvious gripes about the bugs and the glitches. Just let me know that you're having fun, that you're enjoying the game. You know, what's, what's your favourite journey? What's your favourite bus? What's been your favourite site at the moment? There's loads of different sites, loads of different landmarks to visit. What's, what's been your favourite destination? Let me know down in the comments, and let me know if you've enjoyed the video as well, as we reach our destination of Nice Airport. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, for more simulation content here on CGB Games. There we go, around that little bend, 13 kilometres to go. So I'm not sure if we're going to Terminal 1 or Terminal 2. All I know is that we are going to departures. That light changed just as we were passing through and then, so... None of the you went through a red light comments in the comments section, please. I also have a correction to make as well. In the first video I made of this, I kept going on about the size of the map. And for some random reason, I kept saying 50,000 square metres. Now, that's not entirely true. Why does it get me to go all the way down there when I could just go like that? And it's not 50,000 square metres, it's 50,000 square miles. We're going up here, departures, yes. There we go. So there we go. I've just took a couple of uh, kilometres off our journey time there. I kept saying 50,000 square metres for some strange reason, but it's 50,000 square miles we've got on a scale of 1 to 16. So, I'm sorry about that. 50,000 square metres wouldn't be a very big map, would it? As we head down now, drop these lovely people off at the airport so they can get back to wherever they're going to. And I can carry on with the rest of my day. So there we go. That is Marseille to Nice. In a nutshell. So that's those people gone already. Off the bus. Hope you all enjoyed the trip, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. And you as well to uh, watching. Very much appreciated. And uh, like I said, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.